it's working yeah hello youtubers and welcome back to the matthew v two sixteen eighty eight studios and i am joined by one skype guest and that's rodney one two seven nine hello everybody and this is a bit of an announcement now for you supercross viewers on my channel who have been watching the 2011 season when this video was posted i would have had all the lights east races posted starting in Houston and ending in Vegas but for now if you're a Supercross fan do not watch this video because once again this does not concern you at all and the reason why I'm doing this video is you have seen me do a yellow card against this YouTube user because he told me to change my total because he wanted to see at least one winner on the Price is Right well it turns out that this same user has been doing this to Ben S71287 and Ben has already posted a red card video on him and I previously had given him a yellow card for that same reason and it's come to my attention that this user is not even getting the picture even though he did it on another person's channel it's gonna apply to my channel so this user is Michael Taylor and he has earned himself a red card on my channel. Because yesterday, Ben and Corey messaged me telling me that Michael Taylor was at his bad ways again, telling Ben to add to increase his total, but arguably for the weakest reason I've ever heard. I saw his because I saw his comment when Ben gave me the link two links to his videos links to two of his videos I should say and they both and they both said that he would declare Ben's bonus round loss of Wheel of Fortune for the PlayStation 2 not PlayStation 2 but second edition PlayStation and another one that I can't quite remember then he said that he would declare Ben's bonus round loss a technical win because nobody was commenting on the video and Rodney, I'm going to ask you, how weak yeah. and stupid is that? Uh, yeah, yeah. How, how weak and stupid is that? Well, to me, I think, uh, Michael, that, you know, you can't uh, make people declare the winner. Gary's call, Ty Adams the call. Yep. So we're trying to get new crew G-Man 2 with us here. So anyways, Rodney, you were saying? Yeah, I was saying that. Um, I was saying that if I was uh, Michael, you know, you cannot um, uh, make people cheat on their own channel. If they did not win the uh, game, they did not win the game. Simple as that. You can't add runs to the score. Now, I will say for the record. Now, I will not yell or red card him, but I will say for the record, I will be doing a Price Is Right game. You know, sometime tonight. And it's a good chance that I might lose the, one of my games and stuff. So, I'm going to warn you right now, Michael. You didn't do it on my channel yet. But I will say this to you right now on this video, Michael. Don't come on my channel doing it. That's your only warning. Don't come on my channel saying anything about, well, well, uh, you lost the game and stuff. You deserve the win and stuff. Because, I mean, when you lose a game and stuff, you lose the game. It's just that simple. You know, and that's the way we do it on our channels. Most of us do it on our channels. The way I do it is if I um, lose and don't come out of contestants' row, then my run is over with for um, Price is Right. But... You know, like if I lose pricing games and all that stuff, I will not add that total to my score because it's not right to do that. That's dishonest. That's exactly right. And prior to this, you had told me to do the same thing on my run of the Price is Right Decades, game number 28. And I already told you that I would not do that, Michael. And apparently... You don't, and apparently from what I've, from what I have seen, you don't like to play by the rules, and that is definitely not good. No. 
And if you don't want to play by the rules, then don't play. You can't just like say like, you can't just say that we can add it to our score because the reality is if we lose, we lose. Like Rodney said. I mean, because in life, you win some and you lose some. I'm going to tell you, I'll give you a good example, Michael. I play this game on Second Life all the, a lot of the time called Second Fortune. And I've been having a string of bad luck lately on Second Fortune. So what I do, I do get a little disappointed that I don't win the game. But when I lose the game, I don't beg people for lending dollars and stuff. I just take the loss like a man. So that's why I'm saying to you, if you lose a game in life, Michael, you can't declare yourself the winner if it's a loss. Because then that would be cheating and then you're being dishonest. That's exactly right. And another thing also is, if you keep on saying like, oh, these rules don't apply to me, you're not living in this millennium. You're practically... You practically look at losing as against the law or something. And that's not good. You guys think so? You guys think so? Yeah. So as of right now, Michael, I already did a yellow card video on you because I did not think that you would... Because I did not think you were going to go back to your old habits again, but you did. So as of right now, you're red carded for good on my channel. And if you think that you're going to get away with this again, you better not think so because you're not going to get away with it. People will say no to you, and if you don't accept that, you're going to get in trouble. And in fact, you already are in trouble with Ben and now myself. Now, even though you haven't done anything to me on my channel, I'm applying Ben's thing because he messaged me about it. Now, I may have mixed opinions on this because he didn't do it to me again. But you know what? I don't want to make it happen a second time, so which is why I'm doing this video. Right. <laughs> That's right. This is a lot more than just bending the rules. Because telling us that we can add, telling us to add, or, or, even, or even ordering us to add by something that we didn't win is not right. It doesn't make us feel right, but if it makes you feel right, then I, like I said, you're not living in this millennium. And I think that's about it for this one. So if anybody has anything to say to him. Nope. I'm just going to, all I got to say is, in life, you don't want to be dishonest in life. I mean, because I think, I mean, for me, I'm a Christian. And one of the things we're taught not to do is lie. Would you want to be referred to as a liar, uh, Michael? Or don't you want to do something honest? I certainly wouldn't because my personal experience, if something goes wrong and it involves me, I don't make up any stories or any excuses. I just go right to the truth. And I've there actually go. gotten rewarded for it myself. And I will not share what it is. Because I don't so want to... Oh, sorry about that, man. Oh, well, I was going to say that I have gotten rewarded for it and I will not share it at all. But I will say this. 
I don't want to have my mom just figure out that I'm lying because then I'm gonna then I'm gonna be forced to admit it. So I just then I'm gonna be forced to admit the truth. But instead of just making something up, I'll just go ahead and just play honest. I'll just go ahead, play honest, do my part because. Because like you're told in life, honesty is the best policy. It is. And I'll give, you, I'll give them another good example. If I'm dishonest with my wife from one time, and I have lied to my wife before, then it creates, um, how can I say it? It creates havoc in the home. And I mean, for me not to have havoc in the home, I have to be honest with my wife about what I'm doing with myself. Because I mean, in life, want people to respect you for your honesty. And if you lying all the time and stuff, then people are not going to trust you. That's right. And Rodney, what were you saying about the Bible? Oh, oh, sorry. Were you gonna still going to say something? Yeah, I was going to say something about Bible scripture first. But um, you and um, Gary can talk right now because I'm going to get it out while y'all talk. Okay, well. But anyways, Michael... We don't want to add our total just because you can. You say that we can, because we probably could, but we don't want to because that's not honesty. It's dishonest. I know it's in the book of John or something like that. John the eighth chapter, I think it is. And guys, I'm gonna take a quick check, and I'll be just a couple minutes. Yeah. I just came on here to say hello. Hey, uh, Gary. Well, uh, I'm going to be heading off now. I just wanted to talk to you for a few minutes, but I didn't know about a rant video. What's going on? Well, I'm trying to find the script that says... I have to yeah. get off here due to fact I have to go watch wrestling. I want to go listen to my music on my iPod. Oh, you're not going to do the, uh, the kickoff for me tonight? Rodney, as much as I would deeply love to, I want to go listen to my music. Okay. All right. Because, I mean, that's my peace corner, and I like to get away from the, from pretty much, you no, know, how, how do I put it? All the hoopla? All the, yeah, exactly, Matt. I want to get away from the hoopla that's going on. Okay, well, I'm back from checking something. Rodney, do you have oh, your scripture? Uh, I'm still looking for it, but it's somewhere in the Bible that says, and ye shall know the truth, and the truth, so oh, here it is. Y'all be safe, be happy, and eat help, Cheerios. Yeah. See us. All okay. right, Gary. Okay, I'm going to read it in the New Living Translation. Um, it says, and um, it was referring to Jesus and Abraham, and it's in John 8.31 through... Um, We'll just read up to 8, 31 through 34. And it says, Jesus said to his people who believe in him, you are truly my disciples if you keep obeying my teachings. And if you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. Well, we'll just stop at 32. See, now, if people know the truth in you, if you keep telling the truth, eventually you'll be free even though when it hurts your life. Because if you keep on lying and stuff, when you tell a lie so much, then it becomes another lie, and another lie, and another lie, and that means nobody will not believe you and stuff. So you always want to be honest. When I do my games on my channel, it has to be honesty, or else I don't do them on my channel. That's exactly right. And I also should say that even though but I'm, even though I am playing my games honestly there is one game on the price is right and that's punch a bunch and that's if i get a second chance the game does not add the second total that i punch for instance if i get a hundred dollars and another chance and then i get higher than that it just gives me the higher amount oh and, is it that um for the um, decades game no it's 2010 2010 oh okay yeah so that's one so that's the only time that I can legally alter my score. Because it doesn't add that. Oh well, sorry about that. Oh. You know, when I alter my score, I do it on the prices right decades because a few of the games on there 
they don't add your total and stuff. And then, like on, like for example, three strikes and stuff. If you win the game, if you lose the game on three strikes, they give you the total anyway. Whereas on my channel, if I get three strikes on the game, I don't add it to my total because I didn't earn it. That's honesty. And on Ronnie yeah. and Ronnie's really honest. I'm really honest. We don't wanna we don't wanna abide by what you say, Michael. And if you think we're going to, you're gonna have to have a lot of hope. Because we don't see that happening anytime in the future. So for now, Michael, you are officially blocked on my channel, and you are not welcome back until I hear that you have cleaned up your act. So hopefully you don't abuse that authority and get away with it, especially on Rodney's channel. Right, because if you do it on my channel, I'll probably have to say something to you, because, I mean, now, now that I warned him, now he knows that if he does that on my channel, he's going to get a yellow card. Because, I mean, now there's information there. Because you cannot, you can't make people lie on their channel just because they lose the game. Because we want to play the game fair. Mm -hmm. But anyways, that's about all we have to say. So, Michael Taylor, you, like I said, you are blocked from my channel. And you are not going to ever comment on our videos again. And I want to say that to some of the usual friends that I talk to, like Ben and Aubrey and, and Mark and Justin and such, if you guys, if you guys happen to uh, get a comment from Michael Taylor, just don't listen to him at all. In fact, you should probably block him already. But if you want to wait until he does something to you, it's okay with my, it's okay. It's your call because it's your channel. But that's yeah. just my recommendation. So anyways, I'm going to see you guys for my next video, which I'm going to resume posting the West Lights Supercross season from 2011 before I get to the before I get to the Supercross class. So for now, this is Matthew saying saying be safe. And I will see you guys for my next video.